Hey guys, Kev here, and I want to do something a little bit different today. So I'm recording this on StreamYard right now <clears throat> because I want to be able to pull up websites and stuff. So I'm testing that up. I'm just going to record it and then download it, upload it, whatever. But this is going to be a knife ramble, and this one's going to be about the secondary market. So first, I want to say a big thank you to Dustin, uh, DLegal95. Um, he is a dude who won a giveaway from Lefty Live a couple weeks ago, and when he got it, he emailed me to say he got it, and uh, he had a question about the secondary market because he was looking on Blade Forums and Reddit, and he was just wondering if there's anywhere else to look, and he said, dude, you should do a video on this because it can be confusing for people who are new to the hobby. And I was like, ding, 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 I'm recording that tonight. Thank you, bro. So thank you, Dustin. I really appreciate the idea. Uh, it's a great, great concept for a knife ramble. So I do have uh, my current favorite knife that has uh, that is in for review. That is the Wii Roxy 3. Guys, this thing is incredible. I figure I should show you a knife, right? Um, just absolutely an ergonomic dream. It's kind of like a mini Evo in a sense. Um ergonomically but it's obviously different flicks like a dream right and left-handed has a great thumb flick it's got a fuller all the way down it so if you wanted to just knock it from down there you can that'll be a little lighter detent for you absolutely perfect detent um it glides shut with a little shakage um i will probably put bearings in here at some point but it's so good right now and it is just like a rock so it's just not worth messing with um yeah even for me. So anyway, I bought this knife brand new from White Mountain Knives. Uh, there will be a link below to White Mountain Knives. As usual, you can use my code LEFTY10. If you want to pick anything up there, um, you'll get 10% off and free shipping in the U.S. or on U.S. orders. Now, um, we're not talking about buying new knives. I'll probably do a video on that at some point, too, because there are some tricks to knowing when things drop and uh, where to look. And a lot of times people ask me, like, even when a new knife is out, like a normal knife like this, people ask me, like, well, I can't find them anywhere. And I'll Google it and I'll find it somewhere. You just have to kind of be diligent and type the name of the knife in right into Google, the full name, and then scroll down through all the listings. You know, you're going to get European websites. You're, and you just got to keep going until you find something. And a lot of times I can find it buried down there and it's on some website, you know, some people don't know, you know. Um, anyway, the secondary market is a place I absolutely love. Um, I spend a lot of money there. I spend a lot of time there, um, selling and buying, right? There's multiple ways of doing it. Now, for me, as a person with a YouTube channel and an Instagram that, I, you know, like I have a decent following, like I'm not some huge channel or huge Instagram, but I have a decent number of followers so I can post things up for sale and get like get bites pretty quick. Um, I normally don't have much trouble selling something unless it's like right around the time of a show or a holiday where everybody's fucking, you know, tightening down uh, and doesn't want to spend any money. Then it's a little bit harder. Um, but, you know, I can just throw a knife video up a knife sale video. And that works a lot of times to sell most things, especially if it's something like normal like a wee knife or something like that. If I'm trying to sell something a little fancier, like, you know, a Lee Ma or something, you know, it depends on how the market's going. And if it's a lefty that could make things harder. But anyway, I'm rambling knife rambles. So I just want to talk about how I buy knives on the secondary. It's not really about how I sell. So if you're here for that, you can kind of take this as a, how to sell because it's the opposite to obviously people are posting things for sale here. Um, but I wanted to pull up a few sites. So the, the ones I use mainly are Reddit Knife Swap. That's probably my favorite for secondary because pricing is usually good. The people are usually good to go. Um, it's just a lot of fun, right? Um, Blade Forums is one that I don't use very regularly. But if I'm really hunting a knife, I will scour Blade Forums as well. I'll kind of keep all of these that I'm mentioning right now. And when there's a knife I really want, like when I really wanted a Brian Brown Jaeger M, I would scour Reddit Knife Swap, Blade Forms, Facebook groups, Instagram, 
and YouTube. Um, those are the five that I could think of right now. I'm trying to think if I'm missing anything obvious. Um, I don't think so. Obviously, it comes down to what you're after. So if, if this is the best way for me to put it. If you're just browsing, like if you just want to see what's up, like what you could get, I would definitely recommend Knife Swap, um, Blade Forums, and Facebook because um, you can – different groups in facebook and you can just see all types of knives and what's for sale blade forums you're gonna see just what's for sale and same with knife swap and then you can kind of browse and stuff like that right um, but if you're looking for a specific knife obviously the first thing you want to do is search that person on instagram and youtube or not youtube and uh their website so like brian brown jaeger m right i want one of those well what do i do so and uh bear with me guys uh you know, some of you are going to obviously know all of this. So this is more geared towards the newer uh, enthusiast or uh, somebody who just has been into it, but hasn't been into buying and selling and stuff and maybe wants to get into it. Because I know there's lots of guys who just buy, 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 and they never sell or they don't buy on the secondary for some reason. I think there's like a, a, a stigma, a negative like stigma. I think stigma is negative. So I don't think I need to say that, but. There's like a negative thing when it comes to buying on the secondary. People think you're getting like a shitty knife or something. Um, I'm going to tell you right now, 99% of the knives I bought on the secondary, which is a shit ton. I mean, hundreds probably at this point. They're basically brand new. Like most of them are like people like me who buy a knife brand new. They have it, they carry it, and then it sits in their knife case because it's maybe not for them. That's why they're selling it, right? Or they need money or whatever. But they're not, like, abusing the shit out of it and then trying to sell it and rip you off. Like, if there's a problem with the knife, they will tell you. Like, obviously, you need to make sure you're buying from reputable people, and that's a skill you learn. But these places I'm telling you to buy also have, like, policing. They have ways of kind of policing itself so that you don't get robbed and um my number one tip for this is to just ask for vouchers if you need to if you feel uncomfortable i never do it because <laughs> i'm always having a conversation with the person i'm buying from before i buy uh, most of the time unless it's reddit where you can just say i want it and then it's yours but Reddit is so pleased at this point that like it's really hard to buy from a dude's post and get screwed over. Like 90% of the people who get screwed over on Reddit, it's because they're entering into conversations with people in the comments or something. Somebody hits you up in a chat and starts talking to you and then, you know, or the uh, want to buy section. And then, you know, you're in this conversation with a, a random person. That's where people get screwed over. Not when they see a listing and say, I want it. You know what I mean? Um, but it, anyway, ask for vouchers if you're not comfortable. That's all you got to do. You just basically post on Facebook, Instagram, wherever, and you say, hey, is this guy, whoever it is, good to go? Have you anybody bought from this guy before? I'm doing a deal with them. I just want to be sure. And if you tell the guy that's what you want to do, he will probably get you vouchers from people. And inevitably, you'll probably know each other in some way, and somebody will tell you they're fine, you know? Uh, anyway, I am rambling. I'm just like, I got all these ideas. So let's start with um, the Brian Brown Jaeger. I'm just choosing that one. So I'm going to share my screen here, and um, I'm just go back and make sure everything's working. Yep. Um, okay. So I'm going to go to... BrianBrownKnives.com, obviously. So I want one of his knives. That's your first stop, right? And guys, you're almost never going to have this work. But I'm just trying to go through the steps here. I'm going to go to knives, and I'm going to see. Does, is he selling anything that I want? I want a Jaeger M right now. I see some pre-orders, but uh, they're all sold out, right? So I can't get a Brian Brown Jaeger M through the website. Damn, right? Okay, so that idea is nullified so let's start with um the other first place i would start and this is an obvious kind of a uh, transition for me if you're thinking about it i'm looking for the brian brown yeager m i tried his website okay what do i do next 
Okay, I'm going to go to Facebook now. Now, some of you are not on Facebook. I get that, and I can't help you. You're just going to have to ignore this part of it. But I very much recommend Facebook for if you're in the knife community. If you're in the hobby and you buy and sell a lot and you want to get rare knives and stuff, I highly recommend Facebook just for that, guys. I don't use Facebook for anything else. Like, I don't talk to anybody like locally like i'm not like i have those people as friends from back in the day but anybody i friend at this point like i don't friend anybody but people friend me now because i don't see the need for the knife community to really be friending people but um they're all knife people you know what i mean and there is a facebook group for everything and that's why this is important so i'm gonna go to brian brown knives facebook group here hopefully you can't see any of my stuff i don't know um, and you'll see right here, there's a buy, sell, trade. That's what B slash S slash T means, buy, sell, trade. So there's a November buy, sell, trade here for uh, Brian Brown Knives on his uh, Facebook page. So then there's all the rules. Make sure you read that stuff and follow it. Don't be an asshole. And if you're not sure when you post something, just say, if this is not cool, let me know or something. You know what I mean? So right here is a list. There's going to be an ass ton of comments, right? And it's going to be people saying, I want this. I want that. Um, and then there's going to be people offering stuff up. So this guy right here wants to trade for a green or full tie Jaeger M. And he's got this uh, Chavez 229 to trade. And that's how he wants to get about doing this, right? Um, can I see anybody? I don't know why I can't. Oh view more there we go so here you go this guy has one second owner like new asking what i paid 475 shipped oils from hands and handling have darkened my car so this is a uh, edc foundry exclusive uh jaeger m right here you can pick this up from this dude for 475 this knife goes for about 350 or 375 new so you're looking at a hundred dollar markup. That's not terrible these days. I mean, these were going for over 500 for a while. And um, when you're looking for a knife this rare on the secondary, you are going to pay more unless you get a good deal. And that, that's a whole other conversation for you guys. Um, I just want to kind of show you this is where you can go. So you want to go to the Facebook group, right? Um, and I'm telling you, there is a Facebook group for everything. Um, let me go back to my group. These are just groups I'm in. Arcane Design, Holt Blade Works, Oz Machine Company. And then there's a lot of times a buy, sell, trade for that group as well. So you're not just constantly selling and trading on their page. They have two groups. Um, then there's like dealers who have groups like River's Edge Cutlery has the rec room. Um, Demco Knives Dynamics, that's where you can try to buy a Demco 8020, Chavez Knife Group, Gavco, EDC for lefties is great if you're left-handed, guys. I highly recommend this group. Um, there's a lot of buying, selling, and trading in the lefty group. There's also just learning about cool lefty stuff, talking to other lefties, learning uh, when things are going to be dropping and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah. Anyway. That's the Facebook side of it. I would highly recommend that again. Um, so let me pull that off. And let's say I could not find the knife on Facebook. So at this point, I'm going to go to Reddit. And let's just forget about the Jaeger M. Let's just say we're, we're, we just want to buy knives on the secondary now, right? Reddit is where I would want to go. Um, so you go to Reddit and you log in. Okay. First off, one thing you need to know is uh, in order to sell, you need to like be active on Reddit. So like just sign up and just randomly comment and like and post shit. Like just do it. And it'll help you a lot when you go to actually like sell something. If you're just buying, I don't think it matters. Um, but anyway, I'm going to go to search Reddit and go to our knife swap. That's the only group I go to. Other people may have other ideas. This is the only one I know that I use. So I joined the group. And then now I have listings right here. So 
So these are all posts. You do have these like still available or ones that people posted a while ago that haven't sold. So you can go check that if you want. Then there's the want to buy. That's where you can post like, I want a Jaeger M and I will pay cash. I will uh, trade this knife, this knife and this knife. Like that's where you can do that. Don't do that on the main page here. Um but here are the posts. These are all the knives that people have posted for sale. So this guy has a bunch of, free, a bunch of freaking Protex. Um, this guy has a Rec Little Native, Techno 2, Manix 2, Lightweight, Olight, blah, 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 all this stuff. I want to sell knives in solid prices. I hate when uh, people don't put the names of the knives in the title, and I have to click in and find it now. So he has a knife bundle, he has an ace rib, he has a guardian tactical, bird blades, iron pup, tactile turn. There's even pens and shit on here, pry bars. Um, and essentially what you'll do is you'll look through the listing, read it. Obviously, make sure you're listening, you're reading for care. Like he says, light carry as well as a slightly chip tip. He's telling you there's a wear on this. So now, you know, if you say you want it, that there's a little bit of wear on it. He's being up front, right? Um, here you can see the giant mouse ace rib. It's sold. So you can't buy this one anymore. But let's say we were looking for a Guardian Tactical GTX 025, right? 180 bucks. he's selling it for. He's saying it's in C condition. So he modded it, and there's slight carry and use. Aluminum scales have a minor ding near the top and show very minimal wear. Added some talon grip to the show side, hence the mods. This is a terrible example because the guy messed with the knives. Um, so let's skip down to this one. This is the Iron Pup. It just says rating due to light carry and use. Shows no signs of wear or use. Solid knife, but uh, built like a tank. 20 CV. Okay. So you can, they'll always include links to pictures of the knife. So right here, I can click on this. Uh, didn't bring you with me. Damn it. Okay. Let me. Give me a second. It's always on Imager or Imger for Reddit. So you're going to want to download that app probably if you sell knives. If you just um, buy them, I don't think it matters. Anyway, so here's a picture of the knife. Here's a picture of the blade. He's giving you a close-up. He should show you uh, centering. He showed packaging. So I always show centering, and then what I do is I, I just add, instead of all these pictures, I do one picture with the knife open, and then I do a video and just do an overview with the whole knife so you can see it. Uh, and that's how I do it, but this guy did it this way, so we're going to go back to Reddit. All right, so now we saw it. He wants $205. So if you want this knife at $205, you're willing to pay full price what he asked for. Um, what you could do is go down to the comments and check. Make sure nobody said they want it. On Reddit, this is important. On Reddit, if you want the knife at the cost he's asking for, you say YOLO which means you only live once. It's just kind of like a pun. YOLO, like, fuck it. I want it, right? Like, I'll throw the money out there, right? That means I want this knife. I will pay you what you asked for. I'm not going to say YOLO and then ask if he'll lower the price. I'm not going to say YOLO and then say, um, you know, would you throw this in? Or I'm not going to say YOLO and then ask questions about wear and tear. If you want the knife for the price asked, as is, you say YOLO. If you have questions, you do what these guys do. You just say PM, and then you can contact the person by clicking on... Now, I don't use it on the website. I use it on my phone, so bear with me here. I am new to this. You click on the person's name, and then... Uh, why? Yes, I'm 18. Um, you click on the person's name and then you can usually start chat right here. And then I can start chatting with this guy right here and say, Hey man, I really like that. Um, Ace Rit, what was it? Oh, Iron Pop. Uh, would you take 150 bucks instead of 205? Like whatever, right? You can have a conversation with the guy now. And if he's not responsive, he's not responsive. You know, you just, you, you maybe you follow up once and then you either decide you want it or not and you move on. Um, 
but you'll kind of figure that stuff out. But you can ask questions in the comments if you want. You could just say PM and message him. But just if you, don't say YOLO unless you want the damn knife. That's very frustrating as a seller. People say, I want it. Like, I'll take it, right? You can say that, too, instead of YOLO. I'll take it. You know, they'll say, I'll take it. And then you start chatting with them. You're like, hey, man, it's yours. And they're like, well, uh, would you take the It's like, no, you said you'd take it. It's it's a little frustrating. But anyway, um, basically, that's how Knife Sought works. You just, you can see, you scroll down, there's just tons of listings, guys. In the time that we just spent doing that stuff, uh, a useler duck popped up. So, I mean, we got a useler, U, useler duck. Sorry if I said that wrong. We got a useler duck. Um, like, okay, I want to make sure I'm showing the right page. So he wants three hundred. Uh, he wants three thousand three hundred for this thing. Guy's an absolute nut. But you know what? Maybe it's worth that much. I don't know. Um, we had a Liang Ma Cuff 4.0 show up. We had a camp knife. There's a whole haptic up now. I mean, he wants $775. I mean, that's a good price for a haptic. For number 970, all-time favorite knife. Um, I guess you got another one or something. I'm not reading all that. Let me see it. Looks gorgeous. It's got plain scales. Uh, you guys can't see it, but it's got plain scales and blue hardware. Looks dope. Definitely one I would pick up if I could. Um, but I have one, which is kind of the opposite. Anyway, so that's Reddit. You can learn how to use it. It's very, very effective for finding knives, especially if you're just browsing, man. Be careful because you'll see all types of stuff. And you can get good deals on here, right? That's the thing. Like some people want to get rid of stuff fast, so they throw it up for a good deal. Like it's just kind of how it happens. Anybody looking for an Evo too? Bang, right here. Um, so anyway, that's Reddit. Um, let's go after Reddit. So like Blade Forums, I don't use all that much, but a lot of people do, and it is a good tool. Um, but it's usually only a place I go to when I'm like actively looking for a specific knife. Like I don't just browse on Blade Forums because it's kind of a frustrating thing to do on your phone if you're on your laptop it might be better um so let me show you blade forums though because i want to make sure i show you guys everything and you guys can make your decision as to what you want to use or don't want to use um so here's blade forums um basically you just log into blade go to blade forums i'm not even logged in right now and then i go to knife exchange i go down to for sale folders now you can choose anything you want there's other options obviously um and wait that wasn't should be under hang on a second knife exchange for sale by dealers knife market hang on oh here for sale by individuals my bad folding knives individual so you can act there's actually a section for like dealers to sell or makers to sell that's not where i want to go anyway i want to go to where people are selling each other knives like me and you right so here we go you just have a list uh here's a whole specter so this is how they all look this guy's got two brand new 8020s i might be interested so he's got two new inbox 8020 slims up for sale which is a very interesting knife in my opinion i just don't understand the d2 choice i think that's just dumb that's plain and simple i think it's dumb to do d2 but anyway so he posted the knife. It's just like any other uh, forum, right? You just have the knife, the price, whatever. He's got it right here. These are sold. But you would do the same thing that you would do on Reddit. You'd read all this, make sure you're good with everything. And then you can comment down at the bottom. And you could say, I'll take it. See, I'll take the sharps foot. Um, Blade Forums is very, very particular about what you leave as a comment so like on reddit you can get away with leaving comments like this is a cool knife great good luck with the sale and shit right um and then another guy will comment on that and then there'll be like a whole joking conversation in there or whatever and occasionally you'll have people like badmouth the price on reddit 
which is which happens. Um, people police the pricing a little bit on blade forums. They don't like really. Um, they don't take any of that shit. Like you're only leaving a comment if you want it, or like you're really interested and you just want to like talk to the guy. You can leave a comment that says like I'm interested, sending you a message. And then again, you can click on the guy's name, and then you can start a conversation through here. Uh, I'm not going to do it because I'm not logged in. It's going to ask you to just click on his name, and you can start having a conversation. Uh, Blade Forums is a little weird where you can sign up without paying, um, but they have tiers like gold member, whatever, basic member, and um, you only get a certain amount of like messages you can send with basic and like there's just it's kind of got a whole thing to it and that's why i don't really like it i think i had to pay like 10 bucks just to like kind of keep my account so i can go check on there when i want to um so there's that you know that's kind of a negative to it but reddit has a little bit of that where you just need to be active um like at least at first you want to be a little bit more active leave comments occasionally like post something it doesn't have to just be a knife swap it can be anywhere um but if you're not active they basically like won't let you sell anything at first and then the first time you sell something on reddit you're only allowed to sell one knife and once you sell one knife then you can sell as many as you want on on a post um but yeah so here's another one like grimsmo rask um, again, you get the point. There's pictures and a price, and then you buy it. Uh, I really want to try a Rask. So, yeah, I got to log in to see this or whatever. So, anyway, that's Blade Forums. So, we got that out of the way. Uh, I think we looked at Facebook as well, right? So, the next one I want to show you guys is Instagram. Uh, again, just like Facebook, some people are just not on Instagram. I get it. Um, so a lot of times I will see knives just scrolling through my feed. I'll see somebody just selling their knife. Hey, here's a look at Casey's, uh, excuse me, prototype. Check it out. Cool. Um, here is like a lottery. So you can get into lotteries and raffles on Instagram where like you pay $61 to get in and you could win that knife for $61, but 20 other people are going to go in too. So, uh, but anyway, you'll just see knives for sale randomly on your, on your feed. If you guys use Instagram, you know, but I believe you can search by hashtag. So I could search by hashtag uh, knife sales and then it'll pull up anything that somebody put that in. Now, the problem with this is that a lot of fucking people just put that hashtag in every post of theirs. Cause they're jackasses. Um, I hate when people do that. So like these knives should be for sale if they're showing right now. So look, this guy's selling a Borka Blades Stitch Auto from Microtech for four ninety, dollars right? Um, Sierra Bound, he's good to go. Like, dude's awesome. You can buy this. Now, that's very expensive for um, a Microtech Stitch. I don't know why he's charging four ninety. I think they go for like four hundred or four fifty. But hey, who am I to say that, right? Here's a ZT, um, and here is me calling out Alex. <laughs> I love you, Alex. I know Alex. Uh, he's a cool dude, but he must put the same hashtags in every post. This is what people do: they copy and paste the hashtags in. And one of them is knife sales, but he's not selling this, which is frustrating to me. Um, yeah, it's frustrating to me because you should be selling the knife if you have it up. And here's another one, I think. Like, are these all for sale? No. And that's the problem with doing it on Instagram. You're going to have a lot of, you know, random ones that aren't for sale. But you will have ones like this. This guy's selling three or four knives. You know, there's more. Yeah, there's a, a flashlight. This guy's selling this thing, 1400 bucks. That is a sexy ass knife. Holy cow. Wow, that's gorgeous. Um, so I think you get the point if you're on Instagram, you should know how to do this. Just search by different hashtags. Hashtag knife sales. Hashtag uh, another one is knife for sale. All right? And you just search that and it'll bring up a bunch of stuff you can try to buy now 
A lot of these are going to be random people. Uh, it's a lot easier to probably screw somebody over on Instagram than it is on Reddit or Knife Swap or even Facebook. So keep that in mind. I would definitely try to get vouches or whatever they're called. Um, so that's Instagram. That's an obvious one. And then my last one would be uh, YouTube, guys. Um because people like me will do knife sale videos. So I'll just say knife sale. I don't know if this works. I've never done it. So hang in there. Um, if I search knife sale and then filter by, can I filter by, uh, you, can, you can't filter by um, upload date, sort by upload date. There we go. So 11 minutes ago. So this should work. So if I sort by, um upload date and i search knife sale i should be able to see all the knife sale videos as long as that's in the title i guess or in the description um you should get so here edc gear reviews just yesterday posted this. Right, that's that's nice sale. Sale. so uh tyler he's a good buddy he's selling this stuff look he's got a vero fulcrum he's got um a chavez scapegoat He's got a, uh, I think that's an artisan serious. He's got the artisan um, Arion, the full size. He's got a tour knife, and he's got some custom scales for something. And you could tell he had a garage sale actually because he just moved, <laughs> and uh, he tried selling some of these at the garage sale, and people were like, "Dude, three hundred whatever for a freaking knife." <laughs> he had to explain all that shit. I love it. Um, so, yeah, this is another way of doing it for sure. I think you could definitely do it this way. I mean, if you're just that bougie and you're just looking for ways to spend money, I mean, you can find knife sales on YouTube. Um, I have plenty of knife sale videos on YouTube. Um, of course, they're all sold at this point, but you guys get the point. So that's kind of it. I mean, that's that's all the options I would suggest. Um you know, specifically Reddit, Facebook, and um, yeah, really those two are the best. Uh, those are the ones I use the most. I'll constantly, like when I'm in for a knife, like I was looking for a haptic last week or two weeks ago, I was scouring that Holt Bladeworks buy, sell, trade page on Facebook. And I just would check for updates and see when somebody posted. And there's a lot of them selling right now for good prices. So like, I ended up getting one for 720 bucks or something. Um, so you can get decent prices. You can, you know, you, it's all up to you. If you want to spend it quick and get it, do it. You can wait it out. You can, um, you know, do whatever. And then my biggest kind of tip to all this is be active in these communities. Like, um, and I'm not saying like with Reddit, like be active just so you can, you know, post or whatever, be active because you're going to, you're going to build relationships, which one is awesome because you're talking to knife dudes. You're talking to other knife dudes and girls um, who have the same interest. That's obviously really fun. Um, but two, you're going to make these connections. It's like networking. And then you're going to start talking to these people. They're going to start messaging you when they have something they think you would like. Or if you tell them what you're looking for, they'll keep an eye out because knife people are awesome people knife people are the best uh i have so many people that i talk to daily weekly monthly in the knife community um that are friends in general like we're friends but like also are really cool about like telling me when something comes up or something drops or whatever um that's where i get all my information it's not from like following this person on instagram and and, uh, you know, having the dealers and the manufacturers tell me stuff, right? Like that happens. But like the majority of the insider information I get is from other knife dudes who they know somebody who knows the guy, right? Or whatever. And that's how I get my information. I learn about drops or whatever. Um, so just building friendships in the knife community is a hell of a way to um, get knives on the secondary in a good way. Here's an example. Um, and I hope he doesn't mind tomorrow night on lefty live. This is, uh, November 10th right now, tomorrow night for veterans day. Um, uh, what well, is veterans day? I'm doing lefty live and knife nerdery is coming on. His name's Kevin as well. I highly suggest you check out his channel. I was not alluding to him being a veteran. He's not, I don't think, um, 
it just falls on that day or whatever. But anyway, great dude. Check out his channel. Um, I sent him my burger, L-E-X-K, C-F-L, front flipper, custom, to check out. And he had it, and we were chatting that day that he that he got it, and he was really, like, amped about it because he liked the knife a lot. Uh, and I love that knife. And he was like, man, I, I, he's like, I'd really like to get one of these. I've always been interested. It's good to know, like, now that I have it in hand that the size works. He's like, but I'd love to get the sheep's foot one, right? Well, while we're chatting, I'm just checking on Reddit. And bang, what do you know? A burger, L-E-X-K, CFL with freaking dark matter fat carbon scales with a sheep's foot blade pops up for sale for a decent price. And I'm like, hey, Kev, check it. And I sent him a link to it. And what does he do? He goes on there and he makes a bid on, on the, he offers the guy whatever and the dude takes it. Bang. Kevin now has a burger, L-E-X-K, C-F-L, sheep's foot with fat fucking carbon. And I'm jealous. <laughs> so now I'm jealous of my buddy because he got one. But my point is Kevin and I aren't best friends. Like we just started chatting like a month ago because I saw him on Jake's podcast, Bearded Gear. And I was like, this guy's awesome. Like, this guy is perfect for me because I'm the opposite. I'm a feel guy, right? Like, I'm a this works because it works. You know, this feels good because it feels good guy. You, know, Kevin is a this feels good because the angle of this with this and the smoothness of the ceramic ball and the I'm making him sound dorky, but he is. He's a fucking nerd, right? We're all nerds, but I'm exaggerating here. But anyway. It's a, I feel like he's a good compliment to my stupidity. And um, so I just reached out to him. So I was like, hey, man, I saw you on the podcast. It was awesome. Like, I just thought I'd reach out because you seem like a cool dude. And then we chatted, whatever. And anyway, bottom line is we're not best friends or anything. But organically through the knife community, we started talking. And I'd say we're knife dudes, buddies or whatever at this point. And um, because of that, I knew what he was looking for. I saw it. And I just said, hey, dude, check it out. There's a link, right? Somebody's selling one. Bang, he got it. And I'll tell you what, that makes me feel good. I like being the facilitator. Ask Kyle, DTOM Knives and Gear. I have facilitated like 20 knife purchases for that dude. Um, it's just fun, right? And maybe not everybody's like that. But if you're looking for knives on the secondary these are the best ways to do it. And ultimately, uh, building friendships and networking in the knife community is one super awesome hell of a way to get knives on the secondary. So uh, that's my ramble for today, guys. Uh, I want to see if there's anything I wanted to like touch base on before I close it out. Uh, channel related. I don't think so. Um, channel's going great, guys. I'm, I'm keeping up with two a day. It's working right now. Um, I essentially film everything throughout the week and then edit everything on Sunday and then upload for the next week or so. Um, I'm basically a video is out through like another week from today. Um, so I'm good. I don't know if it'll slow down. It just comes down to my habits and what comes in. It just seems like I always think it's going to slow down and then I get a bunch of loners or I think of ideas or whatever. I just love creating this content for you guys and for myself it's fun for me to talk about all this stuff too right um so it's kind of a win-win and it's just a blast doing it and um, i know i don't go like all nuts with editing and don't do that cool shit but that would be boring to me that would be like homework so then i wouldn't do it and i wouldn't post so this is my way you know i just pump out content and it's just me blabbering um or it's my hands blabbering right um yeah guys the roxy three i just you should get one <laughs> i don't have a better way to describe it it is absolutely a home run it's probably it's my favorite knife to come out of Wii ever um it might be my knife of the year i i gotta really think about that because obviously it's kind of like the uh f 5.5 last year just came in absolutely hot right at the end of the year and I just couldn't get over it. And it was my knife of the year. Um, 
course, the Malibu might be everybody's knife of the year this year because, you know, it came out in, like, 2019, but it wins knife of the year every fucking Blade show. I'm just joking. Um, but, yeah, this thing's incredible. Uh, I highly recommend getting one. I don't know if they're available at this point when this posts. Probably not. Uh, but they'll be on the secondary, guys. Check the secondary. Should we see if we can find a Roxy 3 right now? Let's do it. So I'm going to go back to um, Reddit, and I'm going to search Knife Swap. Ooh. Roxy 3. Let's see what comes up. Um, price drop, three Wii knives. This is a month ago, so that can't be it. Doesn't look like anybody has a Roxy. I'll try. Uh, they are really new, so it'd be pretty impressive if... Um, yeah, it'd be pretty impressive if it was available. These are all, um, sorry, this this is from how long ago? Four, nine months ago. So these are all um, the original Roxy. So right now you're not going to find a Roxy 3 on Reddit. Um, I don't think that's, that's not one I would go searching on Facebook for. Um, because there, I, there might be like a Wii facebook group but i've never been in there and i don't know if you could get a knife that way um that's a knife i would buy new and then if i couldn't you just wait until they're gonna start showing up on uh knife swap in a few days uh, probably by the time this video right here posts i bet you you could go to reddit and do what i just did search roxy three and you're gonna see a bunch of them pop up uh, because people are going to get them and then inevitably they're going to sell them and not because it's not a good knife. That's one thing you need to understand. Um, something I have to explain a lot when I do knife sale videos, it doesn't mean I don't like the knife. There are cases where I bought a knife and I didn't like it. And that's why I sold it right away. And you guys will know that because my video, it'll be obvious. Um, but like a lot of times people just overspent. Like it's a big problem in the knife problem in the knife community where people spend more money than they have. It's, it's, you know, it's a hobby. I guess that's just how it goes. And then they get five knives they just bought and they have to sell three because their wife's going to kill them or their husband's going to kill them or they realize they got to pay the mortgage or whatever. And then they start selling them and they have to sell ones that are awesome, you know, um, because they're going to sell faster essentially. And then there's, you know, it just doesn't fit my hand or, uh, I'm, that's an example. This fits my hand perfectly. But like if I gave this to Kyle right now, he'd probably be like, eh. actually, I think he'd like it, but, um, cause it has a pretty generous choil there. But point being is there's more reasons than I don't like the knife. Like I saw a lot of knives cause I need to sell them because I got 20 other knives coming and I, I, I'm moving shit a lot, you know, for the channel. So if I sell a knife, don't just take it as I don't like it. Watch my reviews. You know, I'll explain how I really feel about the knife. But uh, anyway, uh, some stuff I recently got in. I got the Primordials. So I got the MK3 and the MK2 from my buddy Justin over at uh, Tier 1 Gear and EDC. So this one's actually a flipper and hole deployment. Um, it's got a little bit of a stiffer D10. I think this one was made by Wii. Um, D10 is just too good to be Best Tech. And then I think this one was made by Best Tech. Um, I could tell because they lighten the D10 to get better drop. Um, it's still good, though. I just don't. The acoustics are very minimal. It's, it's giving me... I don't know, best tech vibes, but it's a cool knife, you know, just not lefty friendly because the bolster is very, very low. It's not even a bolster lock. It's a freaking frame lock. Um, what else do I have? I got in this Tucson TS212 from Tier 1 as well. Pretty cool. It's a Tig Tigus design. I don't know how to say it. Um, you can see his logo right there, maybe. Um, oh, uh, I got this Wii Thug. So, again, tomorrow night, you won't see this till later, but tomorrow night on November 11th, again, it's going to be Veterans Day. Uh, Kevin and I will be giving away this Wii Knives Thug. 
on the live stream in honor of Veterans Day. Also give away a three-pack of KPL, uh, heavy, ultralight, and original. Um, but this will be kind of the prize. I won this. So I'm in the Apex pass-around group, and I reviewed this knife through that group. And then a lot of times the manufacturer, we in this case, will donate the knife to the group. And anybody who was in on the reviews will get randomly selected and one person will win. And I won the uh, thug. And it's absolutely not my style of knife. I hate the clip. And uh, so I figured I would return the favor or whatever. And I'm going to give it away on a live stream. So I have that. Anyway, I don't know why I'm sitting here showing you guys knives to you, Big Belly. <laughs> Love this integral carbon fiber integral with the shaft lock from Tuya reversible clip sexy to that clip um, all right so that's it that's how you can buy knives on the secondary and you can turn that backwards to sell knives on the secondary if you guys have any questions uh please hit up the comments because there's going to be plenty of people watching this who do know everything about selling and trading um uh, again this all applies to trading too like all these places you can offer trades instead. Facebook is really big for that one, trades. Um, but yeah, you kind of get the point. I hope I hit most of everything here for anybody new. Please leave any questions below. You can uh, email me, leftyedc88 at gmail.com. I'll happily answer your questions. You can DM me on Instagram at leftyedc. Um and if you guys need somebody to proxy for you at a blade show or something, like a knife show, hit up Bearded Gear. It's at Bearded Gear on Instagram. He will happily uh, proxy for anybody when it comes to going to a knife show. So if you're looking for, you know, like a, a Oz Roosevelt or a Jaeger or something for the knife show coming up, uh, NYCKS or whatever, uh, just hit up Jake. He'll happily uh, wait in line all night for you and pick that knife up for you. Uh, but yeah, guys, that, that's really it. Um, I'm just rambling at this point because uh, I want to keep going, but I, I have nothing to talk about. So um, I love you guys so much. Uh, if you've made it this far in the video, uh, if you haven't subscribed, I'd appreciate it. Um, hit the like button if you haven't. Notification bell, that shit. If you want to join my memberships, it's uh, there's a button down there somewhere to join. I also have Patreon and a bunch of affiliate links down there in the description. Uh, you can get discounts to places. You can use the links and it helps the channel. Um, you know, whatever you want to do support is obviously gratefully appreciated. If not, no big deal. Still love you guys for watching. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day thank you again to dustin for recommending this video topic i love it and um yeah i will catch you guys later